Building approvals are up. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee because the ABS have just released their building approval data. Well, they released it a couple of days ago and I'm looking at it now. So approvals are up, everyone. I'll bring my chart up here. We can see, look at that jump. They've gone up. Fantastic. Now, I suspect that that could be, well, home builder might have something to do with this. What do you think? We we're looking at all the articles in the past where people were saying our oh, home builder isn't isn't working, isn't working because it takes time to get a project off the ground. And I know, I know it's it's going to, there's going to be the whole chorus of people that are advocating for social housing, social housing. But you have to understand, really it's very simple. For every 25 grand the government spends for home builder they get at least a minimum another $150,000 of economic activity. Value for money. You don't get that for social housing. For every $25,000 you spend in social housing, you just get $25,000 of economic activity. And this is, I'm saying in both instances, I'm saying the initial hit because it flows through the economy several times. But that's why it's more effective. It's more effective. I'm not a fan of the government stimulating housing, but we have to understand the reasoning behind their methodology. So at the very least, you can challenge it. So let's let's have a look at this. Before we go through the, this uh, release from the ABS, let us know in the comments, guys, if you're in the building game, what's it like? Have you noticed a pickup in work? Are you getting are you getting more phone calls? Does the pipeline the next three months ahead look good? You know, let, let us know. So dwelling approvals rise in July. The number of dwelling approvals rose 12% in July in seasonally adjusted terms according to data released by the Australian Bureau of Statistics today, well, on Monday. The rise was driven by private sector dwellings excluding houses, which increased 22.7% in July after falling to an eight-year low in June, said Daniel Rossi, Director of Construction Statistics at the ABS. Meanwhile, private sector houses rose by 8.5%, which was the strongest monthly increase since January 2014. Wow. And now we've just had a worst recession ever. ever. <laughs> the July results likely reflect improved consumer sentiment in May on the back of falling pandemic restrictions and easing restrictions. Across the states and territories, dwelling approvals rose in Tasmania 50%, New South Wales 32%, Victoria 9%, Queensland 7.7%, South Australia 105 and Western Australia 83 Recorded decreases in seasonally adjusted terms. Okay, so South Australia and Western Australia are down 10 and 8%. All the rest are up. Approvals for private sector houses rose in Queensland 15.6%. New South Wales 14.3%. Victoria 6.1%. All increased. Decreases were recorded for WA of 3% and South Australia of 1.8%. The value of total building approvals fell 3.9% in July in seasonally adjusted terms. The value of non-residential building fell 19.8% to its lowest level since January 2018 after rising 20.7% in June. Meanwhile, residential building rose 9.5% in July. And we can have a look here. So let's look here. This is from year to year. Total dwelling units approved are up 6.3%. That's 13,884. 6.3% from the year ago. From a month, it's gone up 12%. Private sector houses are up 5.6 from a year ago, 8.5 from a month, and a total 8,852. Private sector dwellings excluding houses are up 7.5% from a year ago, 22.7% from last month. June. Does that include extensions to houses? I'll have to look into it. 4,684. So there you go. There we have it. So what else do we have? Building approvals. So this is total number of dwelling units. The seasoning adjusted to, for total dwelling units is 12%. Houses 8.5. Private sector dwellings excluding houses 27. Value of new residential buildings was up to 11. 1.1. Non-residential building fell. 19.8. So there we have it, everyone. Building approvals have gone up by 12% in July. How do you see it in the market? Are you in the game? 
I know I've got a lot of tradies and other professionals uh, who watch the channel. What's your pipeline like? Is there enough work coming up? You know, how are you preparing for the future? Do you think we'll see this going on to next month or the month after? Do you think the public declaration of an official recession might dampen consumer confidence? We saw savings were at the highest level they've ever been. Over 19%. Seems really un-Australian uh, considering we're an afterpay civilization. You know, that, that's, that's our latest pinnacle of achievement with regards to Australian tech companies. Hips to lay by. I, I don't know how to take that as a, as a nation, but that's how it is. That's how it is, guys. Still, dwelling approvals going up, more work opportunities. We'll have to keep an eye on it. And before we go, let's just have a look at the trading economics data. Because it's interesting to see the difference in what's occurred and what was expected. If we're performing better or worse than the market, that's what people want to know, isn't it? So the number of, dwelling, uh, of dwellings approved in Australia unexpectedly surged by 12% month over month in July 2020, following a, a downwardly revised 4.2% fall in the previous month, defying market expectations of a 2% drop. So the market expected, the consensus was a 2% decline in building approvals. But the actual, damn, the actual increase in approvals was a 12%. A 12% increase in approvals. So that seems, wow, that seems nuts. So it, it was the first increase in the number of dwellings approved since February, reflecting improved consumer sentiment amid the easings of, easing of lockdown restrictions. Private sector dwellings excluding houses jumped 22.7% versus negative 3.5 in June. And private sector houses rose by 8.5%, the strongest monthly increase since January 2014, after declining 4.9% in the previous month. So let's look at the chart here. Let's go to the max and see if we can notice that that increase. We've got to go to five years. Five years, so I mean, it's it's a big jump. But I mean, look at this. Look at these dwelling approvals, everyone. It's all over the place, isn't it? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> it's nuts. It really is. Well, there we have it. So I'll have to do another video looking at uh, dwelling approvals in NZ, which have actually fallen. So what do you think? Do you think this is a sign that the um, home builder program worked? That it is creating economic activity? Do you think this will continue? Or... Do you think these building approvals, will these projects get finished? Will there be a stop on them? Will projects be cancelled or adjusted? Or is it people just taking advantage or setting something up? Let me know in the comments. Let us know about your pipeline. Let us know about how your business is going. And thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support the content I create here, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and I will see you all in the next episode.